Hi everyone, this is Satyan here and I welcome you to the daily dose series of Tableau visualization. In today's video, I'm going to cover a very common topic, which is generally faced by each Tableau developer, right? Let's say we are following software development life cycle while doing any development of dashboard. And what happens in this scenario is like you get data or you, you might get sample data, you might get you know chances to kind of connect to test databases, wherein you work uh, on top of a sample data and you create dashboards. Now what happens, the dashboarding activity is kind of an iteration or iterative process. You get new data, you create on top of that, and you. this is how you leverage the sample data sets, and then you keep on updating your dashboard. Now, I'm, now over here, I'm I want to talk about a scenario. Let's say you received some sample data. You created the dashboard, several reports on top of your sample data, and you are done. Now, all of a sudden, maybe the next day or maybe in a few days, you received another set of data and you are supposed to use that on top of the same dashboard what you used, right? Now, there could be some differences in the data, generally what we see, right? The differences could be that the new data which you have received has got different headers, right? Maybe the data type is different. So these type of you know, differences you can find. In typical scenario, let's say you are connected to test environment or you are connected to development environment. These scenarios can happen there also, right? It could happen like in one database we are calling as employee underscore ID and in other database we call it just employee ID or maybe just ID. So these differences you can find in different databases. Now the challenge what happens, like once your dashboard is ready, your reports are ready, you are like almost done. And then if there is all of a sudden change in the headers, your visualization break, right? For this demo purpose, what I have done, I have, you know, I'm just showing this dashboard which is being created out of our demo data that I'm trying to open here. I'm using three sheets as a part of you know, this data, which is like students, term and roll, term. And then we have a fourth sheet as definitions related to this, right? I connected to this sheet, created this dashboard with multiple uh, worksheets you can see here. And then this is the final dashboard that is what being created. Now, as a kind of an you know, iterative process, whether it is agile, waterfall, whatever it is, but I received another data set as demo data and let's assume like it also has a similar number of sheets and it has got the data headers similar to what I had previously in this demo data, right? But I noticed some changes. For example, over here, you can see it's student underscore level, then academic underscore load, credits underscore attempted. Similarly, in other sheets also, we got like term underscore description but the new data what I have received has got little different headers. For example, student level, it's a space, not an underscore, right? Credits attempted. So over here again, it's not an underscore, it's a space here, right? I've just taken some example here that headers might change. Similarly, your data type might also change, right? Now, as a requirement, if I'm supposed to use this file for my dashboards, so what I will do, I'll just go to my dashboard or maybe Tableau workbook. I'll go to edit data source and I will try to, and I will try to link it with the new file. So for that, I'll just click on this edit connection and I will try to browse the new file which I have just got, right? So I'll just go to my desktop where I have saved this file. It's a folder called demo here. And then this is the copy file, which I was showing you with the different headers. Now I'll just connect this. And once it is kind of connected, so you can see like it just loaded, I'll go back to different sheets what I have. And here you will see the problem what we generally face as soon as we change the data source. 
right? So I didn't I I didn't see any changes as part of this file. But over here you can see count versus academic year. Here you see like now I have got this error term GPA. It shows the field average term GPA does not exist in the database. It could be similar if you go to another sheets. You'll you'll, you'll find like things are not working as they were working earlier like this. So scenarios like this can cause a lot of problems to your dashboard. See, out of this dashboard, like number of sheets which are not working, which you can see as they are grayed out, right? So what to do in this scenario when you come across such problem? You change your data source and then now things are not working, right? There's a quick solution to this. I'll just talk about that. If you go to an individual sheet, you will find those fields which have the problem with the red icon here, red exclamatory sign, right? And on the sheet also, you can see those things which are red will, will be showing some kind of error message here, right? I would not recommend to go, go to each sheet and then try to correct it. The best and easiest way to correct such problem is just look into the field that is what you know you were using earlier and what is a new field what you have got as part of new data source right so over here what i'll do this is my original field which was being used all across i'll just right click on it go to replace references right what happened earlier my field was named like this and then now the new field is named like this Right. So what I need to do is at the place of replacing this field from all the sheets, what I will do, I'll just catch my old field and try to change the reference of it so that wherever this particular field is being used, it will change the reference in all the sheets. Right. So by doing one action, you are correcting all those sheets where this field is being used. Right. I'll right click replace reference, and then I will select the new field which I have got that is race, ethnicity. And I'll click OK. Right, that new field, old field is gone. Right, you might not see the impact right now because in the current sheet it was not being used, right? Now, this is the student level that is being used on this current sheet. So I'll just right click on this and we'll try to replace the reference with the new field of student level that we have got. That is this. I'll just select this one and click OK. Now you might see like this current sheet has started working. Right? Similarly, we got term type. I'll right click here, change references, and you need to find out the new field term type. Right? I'll scroll down here. Here it is. I'll just click OK. That also got corrected. If that field is, you're not able to see that field, which means it is got corrected. So now you will see the new field which you have. So term type, here it is. Now I'll just go back to these three fields, which are like measure fields. And I will try to change the reference for these also. So like credit attempted, it's a new field here. So I'll just right click on it, replace references, credit attempted. Here we go, credit passed, credits passed, and then term GPA, I'll change it for term GPA over here, right? In this scenario, the field names which we received, they were similar, only the uppercase and lowercase differences were there. There could be possibility that in your scenario, you don't get, you know, or you get the entirely new name right for that in those scenarios you need to know that what field you're going to replace with the new field right otherwise let's say you replace the field with a different field or of, of a different data type then in that case it can create a problem now i'll just go back to dashboard and i'll just go back to the dashboard and you will see all of the sheets are working perfectly fine here Right, we just replaced some of the fields which were corrected or which were got updated by header into the new data set. 
And as soon as we replace the reference, those got corrected in all the sheets. That is exactly what I wanted to show here to all of you. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Please feel free to put comments and suggestions in the comment box. Until the next time, have a happy learning and stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.